and welcome back. Today we're making this a cute, adorable little basket that we can fill with our favorite candies to give to someone. Could you imagine leaving this on your co-worker's desk or at the breakfast table for your child or husband or even in the post office, um, post box for your mailman. So let's get started. We will take an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and we will put it in our trimmer long ways. And we are going to cut the cardstock at four and seven eighths. If you need to know where four and seven eighths is, here's the four inch mark, four and a quarter, then four and a half, four and three fourths, and the long line is four and seven eighths, right before the five, that long line. Now you will line your cardstock up at that line and you will cut it. Then we are going to rotate the paper and cut it again at four and seven eighths. This will give us a square of four and seven eighths. Now we are going to see that we have this square of four and seven eighths. We're going to set it aside. We're going to take the long paper again Put it in longwise and cut a half inch off or put it at the eight inch mark and cut that half inch off. Rotate the paper and cut three fourths. This will give us a nice little handle for our little Valentine basket. So we'll set that to the side. We'll get out our score pal and we're going to score one inch. Then we will rotate the paper all the way around and score at the one inch mark. Next, we'll rotate a half a turn and we will score at one and a half. And then rotate all the way around where the one inch mark is at the top and bottom and we will score at the one and a half inch mark. This gives us three boxes at the bottom of the card stock. Now we're going to cut those boxes up to that first score line, just those two strips on each side. Rotate the paper and cut the strips. I did not do this, but we're going to crease all the crease as well. Next we will get our score tape and we are going to put score tape on the two flaps on the side. We will fold those over and put that at the top. Fold the other one over and put it also at the top. Then we'll take small pieces of score tape and put those on the bottom of the squares of each of the four corners. So the bottom where the score line meets up, we will put the adhesive. And this will allow us to close the box and make a little basket. So remove your score tape. I just think this is an adorable way to give a surprise to someone during the Valentine season. And you can use all sorts of colored paper. So you will fold this up and have them meet and th that will hold all the sides and you'll remove the score tape from the other side. You could also remove all the score tape first and then assemble the box together. You do what's best for you, but if you really score the lines beforehand, which I didn't, it'll give you a more squared look. Next, we will take our long piece and we will put score tape on each end of this piece. This is our handle to our basket. And we will adhere this handle by taking the score tape off and putting it inside the basket. But again, this can be made out of many different colors. You choose your own color combination. To decorate the box, I am going to cut two hearts using Lawn Fawn Stitched Heart. It's the middle die. You can use any heart or cut out your own hearts. Look through your stash. I used a Lawn Fawn a stamp set that has um, has a sentiment for Valentine's in it but you can look through any stamp set for a sentiment you can stamp the sentiment on both sides or just one 
I will be using Memento Black Ink to stamp my sentiment. And I'm only going to stamp it on one side and just have a plain heart on the other. You decide. This one says Happy Heart Day. And then I will just adhere this by lining up the heart and using score tape uh, and lining up the heart at the bottom of the basket. But we don't want it to go past the bottom. So then we'll line up the other heart too. And you will have created your own little basket to put in your own goodies for Valentine's Day and give away to others. I hope you find this helpful. If you do like it, I hope that you um, give it a thumbs up. Here's one in black and red, one in pink and red, and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.